Welcome back, dear friends and supporters. In today's video, we will be looking at how to build a Discord server for general use and also for 5M roleplay. Before we start building a fresh server, I want to let you all know that we already have a 5M roleplay server template posted in the Discord. You can use this template to build your 5M roleplay server, which includes roles and channels for police, mechanics, and a private channel for the server developer team. But today, I'm going to fully create a new community Discord from scratch and show you guys how I do it. First, start by creating a Discord server using the plus sign on the left side. Then choose Create My Own and select Community Server. You can change the name as per your preference. Let's get started. Now that your server is built, you'll find a general text channel and a general voice channel. Clicking on the plus sign next to text channels will allow you to create a new text channel. Let's create a welcome channel. Since we don't want the welcome channel to be in the general category, let's create a new category called welcome. To do this, right click on the left side of the server and click create category. First, I'll create an admin space and a welcome category. You can then drag and drop the welcome channel into the welcome category. Now, let's go ahead and create some additional channels for each category. You can simply right click on a desired channel in the category and select duplicate to create a copy of that channel. After duplicating, you can just change the name. This is a handy way to duplicate the same channel settings without having to configure everything from scratch each time. It's a great time saver when setting up multiple channels with similar permissions and settings. With channels in place, you might notice that by default, it's not possible to type capital letters for the text channel names. So how do we do it? That's where Discord fonts come in handy. The link to this website is available in the description. You can type the text in the box, choose the font you like, and then copy and paste it into Discord. I mainly use this for writing text in capital letters to make it look more visually appealing. Once you're done with that, we'll move on to setting up the roles section. To set up roles, click on the server name at the top and select server settings. Then, click on roles and proceed with create role. Here, type the name of the role and choose a color. At the bottom, enable the option for the role to be displayed separately in the Discord server. Make sure to disable the Mention at Everyone permission if it's a common role to prevent unnecessary notifications. Next, we'll create a few more roles and deal with the permissions for each. This step is crucial for organizing your server and managing who has access to different features and channels. Now, make sure to set the ranking of each role, creating a hierarchy so that a normal role can't make changes to an admin role. Start by setting permissions for the everyone role, which applies to everyone in the server. Go to the permissions and disable the ones you don't want to give to new members. For instance, I recommend turning off the mention at everyone permission to prevent new users from tagging everyone in the server. This helps maintain order and ensures that only trusted roles have access to more sensitive permissions. Now, save the changes. Most of the time, the everyone permissions should be the same as those for top roles, unless those roles are designated as mods or admins. If they are mods or admins, you can adjust their permissions and enable management functions, such as managing roles, nicknames, banning, and timeouts. You can also grant them administrator power, which will bypass all disabled permissions, giving them full access to manage the server. However, Keep in mind that even with administrator power, 
they won't be able to manage top roles, such as making changes to the admin's roles. This ensures a clear hierarchy and prevents lower-level roles from overriding higher-level ones. Now, let's edit the permissions for channels and categories. Right-click on the category you want to modify, and any changes you make to the category's permissions will automatically apply to all channels within that category. You can also adjust permissions for each role. By default, only the Everyone role will be present, and the permissions you set for this role will take effect unless you choose to add and customize permissions for other roles. To edit a specific channel's permissions, simply right-click the channel, select Edit Channel, and navigate to the Permissions tab. Here, you can customize the permissions for each role, deciding what actions, like sending messages or connecting to voice channels, are allowed. Remember, the permissions set at the category level will carry over to all channels within that category unless you override them in individual channels. This approach helps maintain consistency and efficiency across your server. Now, as you can see in the admin category, the permission to view this category is disabled for everyone, so only members with administrator permissions can view the category and its channels. If you want your mods to also view this category, simply add the mod role and enable the view channel permission. Make sure to also enable the send messages permission for them. If you want to restrict mods from seeing a specific admin channel within the category, you can go to that admin channel's permissions and disable the view channel permission for mods. At the top, you can see who has permission to view this channel, making it easier for you to manage permissions. It's important to clearly understand that categories and channels are different entities. Permissions set at the category level can be inherited by channels within, but they can also be overridden at the channel level. This distinction is key to managing permissions effectively. Now, if you go to the server settings, you'll find an option called Enable Community. Enabling this and completing the setup will grant you extra features, such as having your server displayed for public recognition. It also adds an extra layer of security in various aspects, ensuring your server is better protected and more visible to potential new members. As I won't be covering this portion today, we'll have a different video explaining all the aspects of promoting and growing your server. With that said, our next Discord video series will feature the addition of the Sapphire Bot, which is the ultimate bot needed for all servers. To make your server more visually appealing, like the one I own, you can add some emoji and symbol craft work. I use a website called Cool Symbols, and the link to this site is available in the description. Here, you'll find thousands of symbols and emojis to enhance the look of your server. Simply select the symbol or emoji you like, press copy, and then go back to Discord. Edit the channel name and paste the symbol or emoji there. This easy step can make your server's channels more visually appealing and organized. Use them according to your preference. If you're a Windows user, you can also add emojis to the text by pressing the Windows plus period key. This will pop up the emoji box. Not all emojis work, but you can make the best of what's available. Now, you don't need to copy and add emojis to every channel name individually. Once you've created an emoji design for a channel, you can simply duplicate the channel and then just change the name as we did before. This will save you time and keep the design consistent across your server. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found these tips helpful for making your Discord server more visually appealing and organized. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, comment part 2 inches to keep me motivated for doing the bot tutorial. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all my latest content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I am very happy to announce that Codeine has now crossed 4,200 plus active members, making it one of the best 5M developers and server owners hubs. Fueled by this increase in member count, we've added developer AI bots to help fix code snippets for users facing issues. Moreover, users can also create logos for their servers using our logo creating AI bots. With support for all frameworks from thousands of developers, you'll also find all the necessary free items needed to start a simple roleplay server. So what's stopping you from joining? Join now!